Okay, guys, I put a little post up today on Daymaker because my voice wasn't what I needed to be. Um, but tonight I want to talk about it. I want to put it in verbal for you so you can hear it in uh, learning language. So we talked about thinking about the new year. What do I want to do next year or what do I want to become? Which question is the best question? So that's what we're gonna talk about on Daymaker. So the first thing we do is, well, what do I wanna do next year? You know, I think more than that, we need to ask the question, what do I want to become? Now doing stuff matters, but doing stuff instead of becoming who you need to be is actually a distraction because you can just do, 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 and it's just a bunch of do-do, and you're not really growing. You can scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll on your phone and look at creators, or you can stop and think and create something of your own. That's a much more uh, a deeper, meaningful lifestyle. So, so two things, what do you want to do? And then the next thing is I want you to do is I want you to, to just forget about the things that others expect you to do. So what does people expect from you? Now, there are some things, there's, there's touch and go, there's there's healthy relationships, there's give and take. That's that, Some of that's healthy, right? So it's just imperative to walk into that. But even Jesus did not do everything others expected him to do. So it's not ungodly to not do what people expect you to do. So what should you do? You should do things that energize uh, your spirit, that confirm your calling and what God wants you to do. And you should be faithful to what you feel like God is doing. The world wants to you to be transformed into its image. But God says for us not to be conformed into the image of this world, but be transformed into the image of God. So that's what we want to do by capturing our thoughts, etc. So what we want to do is maybe you're not called to be a social media queen or king. Maybe you're not called to make a lot of money. Maybe you're not called to sacrifice your children for money. And maybe you're not, you know, so... I, I uh, listened to a story about a, a man who sold 10 million copies of one book. Phenomenal book, phenomenal story. And so the interviewer was going, well, I know you probably have a multiple conglomeration now and you have multiple um, employees. And he said, no, actually I don't. He said, I have one employee. And they were like, what? Uh, don't you have speaking engagements? Yes, I turned down most of those. Why? And he said, because I know what I'm good at. I'm not good at organizing people. I'm not good at managing people. Um, I'm not good at telling people what to do. So me and my secretary do everything and I just say no a lot. Now, do I recommend that? No, but I've never sold 10 million copies of a book either. So the reason you say no a lot is because you take the best opportunities that add value to you and your family and you say no to everything that is not within your value-driven goals. And so it's important for you to be who God has made you to be. Here's what the Roman says. The Roman letter says, if your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is to give, if it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So what do you do? You reflect on your values. You do what God's called you to do. You do it with passion. You do it uh, with enthusiasm and you, you find the calling that God has put on your life. So again, what do you want to become next year? I challenge people on Facebook today to write a sentence of what they want to become next year. I'm not saying that's easy. I started mine and didn't really know all the things. It was going to end up being more of a paragraph than a sentence. I know what I, something I'd like to do. I don't know that my doing is going to make me to become what I'm looking for. So if you can think about what do I want to become, and then you make your list of to do off of what you want to become, and you reach for what you want to become every day, of course, within your God-given vision and what God wants you to do. So how do you do that? So you begin with your values, and then you add your goals to your values. Maybe you value your children, so you one of your goals is not to travel all around the world uh, as a salesman because you value being with your kids. So that's not a good goal for you. So you set goals that along with your values, in other words, you establish value-driven 
goals. So you think about, remember, everything in this world eventually doesn't continue to glitter long. We quickly get to the place of staleness. So let me finish it with this. The richest possible life is a meaningful life, not a busy life. Meaningful goals include doing things for and with others. Self-serving goals might be fun, but cannot touch the need to fulfill your calling and purpose in God. Pursue meaning, not happiness, to experience enduring fulfillment. Let me say that again. Pursue meaning, not happiness. Pursue meaning, not happiness. Remember, it's not how much you do for yourself. It's how much you do for others that matters. So let me close it out with like this. Who you become is much more important than what you want to do. But when you mix the two, you're going to move along in life at the God-given pace and in a grace that's upon your life that will have meaning. And at the end of your days, there's going to be significance, not just success. So, the Bible says, whatever you want to do, do it with all your heart as mightily as under the Lord. That's who we want to serve. That's who we want to please. So listen, thanks for letting me be a part of your life. Thanks for letting me come to your phone, your home, to your computer. However you find this Daymaker post, I want to thank you for listening, for learning, and for sharing. The audience continues to grow, and I want to add value to your life and make a difference in your life and family and your future to come. God bless you. You're blessed and highly favored, and I'll see you next week right here on Daymaker. Before I let you go, the podcast is already up, soaring through the social media space of this world. Jump on there. Catch the podcast. The title is How to Get Your Mo- Your Promotion Into Motion. How to Get Your Promotion Into Motion. We talk about how to steward God's things well. See you tomorrow. I'm sorry. See you next week right here on Daymaker. Bye-bye.